I'm going to show you how you can steal leads from Zillow without paying them $74 each. Let's get into it. That's right, this is a crazy hack. I never hear loan officers or marketers or anybody talking about doing this, but there's actually a way that you can steal leads from people who were shopping on Zillow right now, looking at houses in your market. They're the hottest potential buyers. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can steal these leads from Zillow without paying them their exorbitant $74 average lead cost. Let me jump in the computer and I'm gonna show you. All right, so I'm gonna show you an example. So this is, I'm just doing, using a search for Arlington, Texas, just as an example again. You know, so let's say that somebody's looking for a house right now. So they're coming over here, they're searching up like a three bedroom, two bath house. You know, uh, let's say they only wanna look at single family houses. You know, this is, I'm just doing like what a normal buyer is gonna be doing, you know, um, when they're looking. And then let's say their price range is like, uh, you know, I'm putting no minimum, but let's say the maximum is like uh, 400. So that's 371 results in Arlington. If I sort them out by newest and kind of see, you can see like, you know, in the last one day, in the last 24 hours, there's been one, two, three, four, five houses put on. So it looks like that's about an average, right? There's about looks like maybe four, five, six houses a day that's getting put on the market in Arlington. So if somebody's looking for a property and they're and they're over here searching around and they're looking at houses and they're, you know, they're pulling up, they're pulling up photos and they're doing all these things, okay? Well, so Zillow has this thing that um, they call the, the, you know, Facebook has this tracking code called the Facebook Pixel, okay? And websites all across the internet have this Facebook pixel on them. And if a person is logged into Facebook and doing other things online, especially from a smartphone, right? Because they're on the they're on Facebook all the time through the app, then everything they do is getting tracked. Okay. If you want to see what's getting tracked about you and what websites are tracking your stuff, I put this um app called the, the Meta Pixel Helper. Okay, so I'll just I'll just Google that real quick so you can kind of see what that looks like. So it's this right here. Okay, you only it's only going to work if you have a if you're using Chrome Metapixel Helper. I'll link that in the description just in case you want to go and add it to your site or to your uh, to your computer if you're do, using a laptop or whatever. Um, I use this again. You can see what's getting tracked in this case. Google does not have the Facebook pixel on this site that we're on right now. You can see the difference between that versus this, where they're tracking multiple, they're tracking multiple pixels. Okay. So even though right here it's saying no pixel found, you can see that they're tracking two different things that are ha happening on this website. So we know that Facebook is tracking this. Same thing if you go over to realtor.com, right? and you do this exact same search, same thing is true over here on Realtor.com. So if somebody's coming over here and they're searching up, you know, houses again in Arlington, right? We do the same thing where we're like, okay, I only want a house. I only want minimum three bedrooms, minimum two bathrooms, right? This sort of thing. As somebody's clicking into these properties, you can see that Facebook is tracking what's happening there, okay? And so we can take advantage of that. Now, you know, obviously one way to do that is by being in this, you know, request a tour thing and, you know, some of the other details, you know, that you can do here where you can get into the, um, you know, their preferred paid programs and that stuff, right? Realtor.com has it, Zillow has it, pretty much everybody. Uh, but if you, instead of paying Zillow $74 a lead, if you want to get the exact same leads, that are shopping on Zillow, but you don't wanna pay $74, one option you might consider is to run Facebook ads. And the reason I mentioned that is, I'm just gonna show you here, I'm in the ads manager, okay? So if you're not that familiar with the Facebook ads manager for generating mortgage leads and home buyer leads and stuff, this is the objectives, right? So we can just tell Facebook, what is our goal? And they're going to drive that campaign to achieve the goal we tell it to achieve. 
So in my case, right, we might say, hey, look, we want it to run, we want it to generate us leads, okay? Um, now, what I want to show you specifically is here in the ad set level, when we get into talking about, so, so number one is, if you're running ads for a property, they have this thing right here called special ad categories. And so we do have to declare that our ad is a housing ad. You know, because you can see right here, it says ads for real estate listings, homeowners insurance, mortgage loans, and other related opportunities, okay? So we have to check the housing box. And what that does is it eliminates a lot of the targeting that exists if you don't have to check that box, right? Um, I'll show you what I mean when we get in here because, but I just, again, we're really focused here on how do you get leads from people who are searching on Zillow and or realtor.com without paying them their crazy fees, okay? So in this audience section right here is if you're running ads directly on Facebook, this is how you can do it, right? So um, I'm just gonna show you this. So if you come down here, the location, obviously we could, choose where we want to go. If, you know, if we're in Arlington, we could choose Arlington, Texas as the location. Okay. The other thing you can do is, you know, if we're running this house as an ad, as an example, you know, um, some cities are really big and you don't necessarily want to target the whole entire city. We want to target closer to the, where the house is actually at. So you can come in here and just put the exact address. You can see right here, 2805 Westwood Drive, Arlington as an address. And that will start the 15 mile radius based off of where the house is actually at. Okay, so that's kind of kind of cool, you know, because I mean, even according to NAR statistics, the average buyer is moving within 12 miles. So odds are within a 15 mile radius, that's where your buyer is going to come from. So you want to make sure you're kind of like close to as close to the actual radius as you can be versus if you tell it to target a city, it's going to start from city center. So if your house is way north or south or whatever, you know, it's not going to be the right thing. But here's what I want to show you. OK, as we're talking about targeting people who are over here shopping on Realtor.com or shopping on Zillow. So what happens is if you come right here in detailed targeting. If you type in the word realtor, you can see right here, realtor.com real estate interest. So this says people who have expressed an interest in or like pages related to realtor.com. So what that also means is like people who hit the pixel, the Facebook tracking code, people who trigger that code and they're on realtor.com, they're going to get caught in this audience right here if we're targeting people who are interested in that. Now, I, I know you probably saw that there was another option as well for Realtor.com. This is the pro version. So these are basically realtors in general through the Realtor.com pro. That's usually a realtor-based audience, okay? So there's Realtor.com, right? You can see in this case, based on where we're targeting, which is you know this house address in Arlington, just targeting Realtor.com, people who were on there searching, talking about Realtor.com, sending their friends and family realtor.com links in private messenger, right? Like all this stuff is tracked, okay? That's 250,000 people in this in that market there that we're searching. Now, if we take that off, I'll show you Zillow, okay? So you see Zillow real estate, people who express an interest or do, are doing stuff with Zillow, all right? So it's gonna be the same exact thing basically. So in this case, while well, the Zillow, well, that's nuts. The Zillow audience is twice as big as the Realtor.com audience. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of fascinating, right? I've never noticed that before. That the Realtor.com audience is only like two hundred fifty thousand. The Zillow audience is five hundred eighty six thousand. Wow. Okay, so you can see we're getting in front of a lot of people there, right? So we're still relying on Facebook to figure out exactly who to show the ad to. We're just telling it, hey, we want to get in front of people who are actively searching on Realtor.com or in this case on Zillow. So let's try something if we add realtor.com in. So the audience basically barely goes up. So people are either searching on Zillow or Zillow and realtor.com is basically what these numbers are telling me. That's really interesting, right? That realtor.com is losing to Zillow right now. So anyways, I just wanted to show you how you can target people. If you're thinking about getting into leads and you're like, man, I'm gonna go 
get into one of these crappy Zillow partnerships or Realtor.com partnerships or whatever, like here's another option. Run ads, target people who are searching on Realtor.com, target people who are searching on Zillow, you know, put good offers in front of them and you can get those people as leads for like way less, right? I mean, in this case, what I'm showing you here, we're running these type of ads and we're getting leads for a dollar to $8 a lead depending on how much information we're asking for them. Like if we're just getting, if we're just getting buyer leads, that's usually going to be sub $5. If we're also getting seller leads, then that's going to be usually more in the four to $10 range. Right. Um, so, it, you know, Hey, look, if you need help with this, check out my links in the description, legion of loan officers.com slash intro. We can jump on a call, get to know each other, see if what I'm doing makes sense for you. If you know, you're a fit for what I'm doing. And um, otherwise, Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you have ideas or questions that you would love for me to answer on a future video. I always appreciate your input and your ideas. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Later.